Hi guys, my name is Natalie, and today I'd like to talk about Happily Ever After by Harriet Evans. I absolutely 100% adored this book. It was ap it was phenomenal. It was it was brilliant. I love this book. Um, it's 474 pages, but like all good books, it did not feel that long, and I I um, buzzed right along through it. So this book follows Eleanor B through about about a 10 year through about a 10 year span in her life. Well, it's from uh, 1997 till 2008. And we meet her as a 22 year old, um, kind of fumbling along like most people in their early 20s do, at least I'm kind of fumbling along through life right now. Um, so she ends up getting a job um, at Bluebird Books, which is this old school uh, publishing company in London. And um, yeah, she just kind of takes off from there. She eventually moves to New York City and really advances up like the corporate ladder. Uh, she ends up being this stylish, like, Sex in the City-esque character. Um, and it was a great book to watch a character develop. Um, uh, not only was she relatable, she grew as a person, and that was wonderful to see. And just, it was amazing. And, you know, she, you watched her struggle through relationship issues and struggle and kind of blame it on her parents' divorce, which I can completely relate to. My parents are divorced, and I feel like it's given me a very cynical kind of look on love, but that's just me. Um, anyway, again, it was just a sweet, sweet book, um, and I'm really looking forward to reading more of Harriet Evans' work. Um, one thing she did do, which I didn't like at first, and then ended up liking a lot, actually, was she'd have chapters where Elle would be in London visiting her brother, for example, and then she'd flash back to something in New York that we hadn't known before. And at first I was like, this is really annoying. She kind of jumps all over the place. And then I realized real people actually do this, though, in their train of thought and in everyday life. You know, you're doing one thing and then end up doing another or getting sidetracked or thinking about other things. At least that's how I operate. Um, yeah, so I really enjoyed it. Um, I'd give it a five out of five if I had a good reads account. I still don't. <laughs> anyway, that was Happily Ever After. Uh, the book I'm going to read next is To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. And this book has been hyped up so much by pretty much every single, almost every single female booktuber I follow. So I'm, I'm, ex I'm ready to jump into this. I was going to say excited. I say excited too much, but I'm ready to jump into this. As you can see behind me are my not so lovely, well, they're lovely bookshelves. But they don't, I don't have enough space for my books. I still have boxes upon boxes of books. But this was kind of a stress relief project of mine. I, um, this used to like have all my sweatshirts in it. Now it has all my books in it. So hopefully I can come to some sort of book solution by the time I move permanently to Orlando. Anyway, if anyone has any questions, comments, concerns, please share below. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. If you have any opinions on either of these books, go ahead and comment below. If you have another book that you're just dying to read or want me to read, comment below. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.